What's up everyone? Uh, I've been asked a few times to kind of show how I do nutrient water for LECA um, and how I kind of water my plants. So I thought I would uh, share a video with y'all um, showing what I do. I am not a video maker. I am not a YouTuber. I um, do not get any kind of thrill from doing that. So please be kind. I uh, have never really done this before. So I just want to show you what I use. Um, to kind of start my day uh, each day. This is kind of like my morning ritual. So these are the products I use. Um, I got them all off of Amazon. I, uh, except for this guy, I got him at Bright Idea Aquaponics, our um, hydro store here in San Antonio. Uh, they're all great products. I've had a lot of success with them and I'll go through each of them as I'm using them to kind of talk about them. But before I do that, I kind of wanted to share with y'all uh, ph in water. When we talk about pH in, in plants, uh, typically the, the best pH level for a plant to be at is about um, 5 to 5.5. And uh, that's basically like what you would get from nature, right? That's where the, these, most of these tropical plants are found. That is what the rain um, would give these plants, right? So here in San Antonio, and I was, I'm from Houston, so uh, our water's a little more acidic there, um, all those refineries, I bet. But uh, here in San Antonio, our water's pretty alkaline. And if you remember anything about that, that pH scale, um, down here, blue all the way up until nine is like alkaline. And then you go lower and you go more acidic, right? And if you remember being a lifeguard, like this is, this is kind of like what you did all the time. I, I just stopped that. But I'm going to show you. It's very blue, right? I know I dropped some of it, but it's still telling me like this is pretty alkaline water. And so when you water your plants with water that's pretty alkaline, um, eventually what's going to happen is you're going to get like what's on my LECA right there. You're going to get calcium deposits and lime build up and basically what that does over time is it kind of coats your roots in that mineral um and it can harm the plant over time so especially for my hydroponics i ph out all my water so i went ahead and i took this cycle product i get it from our local aquaponics store here in town and uh, i took two milliliters of it i used this little guy um and I put two milliliters into my gallon of water. And then from there, I can add the rest of my products. So these three products are what I use for my, my dirt plants and my, my LECA plants. Super Thrive is a vitamin and it is just a good transition helper. It helps plants transition. Um, it's just also a good thing to keep. I put a couple of drops in every gallon of water. So I put five drops in every gallon. HydroGuard is a root inoculant. And so what this guy is helping you do is it's helping to break down, you know, dead decomposing matter, and then also build up this kind of symbiotic relationship with bacteria. An amazing product that I use on everything. My root plants, my LECA plants, it's so awesome. And then we already put in the Psycho. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my five drops of Super Thrive, and I'm gonna put two milliliters, so two of my syringes of uh, my uh, HydroGuard. So I put all three products in, my Super Thrive, my HydroGuard, and my Psycho pH down, and now my water is ready for plants. And now I give this to root plants, and I give this to my LECA and moss plants. I do not give any of my plants regular tap water, ever. I'm not giving them leftover water, I'm spending hundreds of dollars on these hoes and they need to live. So if they fail, it's they're, they're failing because they lost the will, not me. I'm, I'm doing everything I can <laughs> um, just to be funny, just to be funny. All right, so that is my basic water. And now I'm gonna show you in another container um, on a separate video what I do for my nutrients. All right, this is another gallon of water. And in my gallon of water, I've put my five drops of Super Thrive, two milliliters of HydroGuard, and two milliliters of pH down. And now it's time for my nutrients. 
So these nutrients, just to explain it to you in like a basic uh, layman's kind of way, um, plants need certain vi minerals, right, to survive. And those minerals are nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. Now there's many more, you know, micro minerals that we could talk about too, but those are the main ones. And so when you look at these numbers on these bottles, they coordinate to those, those minerals. So this first one coordinates to nitrogen. This next one is always talking about phosphate. And this one is talking about your phosphorus and potassiums. These numbers are what we're using to feed our plants. Dirt has these things already built into it, right? But in water and hydro and semi flow, you don't have that built in. So you have to provide it to your plants. And this is just a uh, magnesium, calcium supplement that I give sometimes. It's got some iron, it helps out with just getting the root to stand up nice and strong. So these are the things I'm gonna be putting in. Now, all of these containers have a basic instructions. What I do is I follow the same rule. This one always goes first because it has to be mixed first always after i put two milliliters of this guy i put two milliliters of him and then two milliliters of him i put one milliliter of him i'm gonna do that right now i had to say as well um i am not an expert uh i have learned all of these things from watching videos and reading and just trial and error everything is a experiment and uh that's basically how i've learned what I've learned, um, but I am not an expert and this is all practice for me. So take what works for you, leave what doesn't, um, and have fun with it, right? All nice and stirred. And now this is what I'm going to use as my nutrient water for my babies in LECA. And so that I'm just gonna do my little reservoir and then I keep that filled to one third. I hope you enjoyed learning this uh, nutrient water life with me. It's actually a lot of work. Um, it's a lot more work than just putting a plant in dirt, but to me, um, it's very therapeutic and it's a way for me to check myself. I, I have a little bit of a hard time overwatering things. And with this, uh, with growing in like I've learned that um, I, I don't kill things as often. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for joining me. I hope it uh, helps some of you. So sorry if it confused some of you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to message me or um, comment. Thank you.